Now, we'll talk about types of classes. C Sharp offers various class types to help structure and optimize your code for different scenarios. So, let's start with standard class. Standard classes are the most commonly used in C Sharp. They define reusable blueprints for creating objects and can include instance members like fields, properties, and instance methods. They enable encapsulation and object oriented programming features like inheritance and polymorphism. Like here, I have car class which has a make property and drive method. To access the properties and methods of this class, we have to create object of this class. Next are static classes. Static classes are used when you need functionality not tied to an object. They cannot be instantiated and contain only static members. Static classes provide utility or helper functions, like mathematical operations, without requiring object creation. Like here, I created a static class and inside it, I created a method named message which prints a string message. We can access the properties and methods of this class directly without creating object of this class. Next are abstract classes. Abstract classes serve as templates for other classes. They cannot be instantiated and can define abstract methods, which must be implemented by derived classes. These are useful for creating a common base class with shared logic while enforcing specific implementations in derived classes. Abstract classes are used for partial implementations where some methods are defined and others are left for subclasses. Like here, I have an abstract class and inside it, I have defined an abstract method. Then I created circle class which inherits from shape class. Inside it, we had to implement the abstract method of the shape class. So. I overridden the area method to implement it. To access it, I created object of shape class type and initialized it with circle class and provided the radius to it. Then we can access the area method without any error. Next are sealed classes. A sealed class cannot be inherited. It is used to restrict further extension of a class. It prevents unintended inheritance and may offer performance optimizations. It is used for security or when a class is finalized and shouldn't be extended. Like here, I have a sealed logger class. Inside it I have created a log method to print the message. We can create object of this class like standard classes to access methods and properties of it. Next are partial classes. Partial classes allow splitting a class definition across multiple files. It's helpful for organizing large classes or auto-generated code. It enhances code readability and simplifies management of large projects. Like here, I have two partial classes. These act like two separate parts of one class. These classes can be placed inside different files. After creating object of this class, we can access properties and methods of both classes because these parts of each other. I created two partial classes, but you can create multiple partial classes. Next are nested classes. A nested class is a class defined inside another class. It provides encapsulation and helps logically group related functionality. These classes increase encapsulation and keeps related functionality within the same context. We create the object of this class using the outer class because inner class is now only accessible only through outer class. After that, we can access properties and methods of it like normal classes. Next are anonymous classes. Anonymous classes are temporary types with read-only properties, often used in link for data grouping. These classes simplify temporary data grouping. Like here, I've created this variable person and passed an anonymous class to it. Inside it, I also pass some data. We can use this class name to access the properties of this class. Next are extension classes. Extension classes allow adding new methods to existing classes without modifying their code. Defined as static methods in static classes, they extend the functionality of the target type. These enhance code reuse without altering original types. These are commonly used for helper functions. Like here, I have static type class string extensions. Inside it, I created the static boolean type method to check whether the word is palindrome or not. This adds a is palindrome method to the string class, making it reusable across the code base. Then we can use it like any normal string method offered by C-sharp by default. Like here, I used it to check the string variable. 
After running the program, we can see the true message returned by the extension method. Also, the messages and values from all other classes are printed. That's all for this section.